Goodbye, drone. All right, guys, so we are on to step four with Hatches training. I've got the drone ready. We're gonna throw that up so that we've got that perspective again today so you can see movement and everything else. It just adds a little bit of fun. As long as the wind isn't too windy, it's kind of a wimpy drone. Um, what we're gonna be doing is, if you watched that last session, you saw the stop on his own with the bird in flight and stood through the couple pops of the blank pistol. So that said to me, and I mentioned it there, that we are ready for the next step, which is pointing birds and launchers. Now, this is gonna be a big change for him. I would assume he's gonna make a few mistakes. We're gonna be carrying a bag of throwables uh, on my side, and I'll show you kind of how that looks and we make this transition. But our ultimate goal here is to see how well we can get him to stand birds that he's actually scenting and pointing. Um, I will be carrying the shotgun today and we're gonna use Kent poppers. The faster that we can get to the realistic looking gun scenario over the blank pistol, the better. He's not moving much with the blank pistol anymore, so this will also cause some movement. We'll see how it goes, and we will work through it. Follow along, I'm gonna go get Hatch ready now. It's a little warm today, so I don't want him standing out here being ready, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get this up in the air, grab Hatch, and then we'll head to the field. To start off with, bud, hey, here. We're gonna wet him down, it's warm, it's summertime. Keeping his ears wet and his head cool, it's gonna help us get through this training session in the field a little bit better. All right, I think I've got everything about as combobulated as is possible here. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Hunt him up, let's go. Now it's gonna take a second for him to uh, get comfortable moving again. We've spent a lot of his last few sessions just stopping him, stopping him, stopping him. So, okay. It's very common for this to be cautious right off the bat here. Now we're using DT Systems bird launchers and these bird launchers are going to be able to be found here real quick with the beeper. Sounds like it's down this way. Jess went ahead and set this up and gave me a general direction of where we were headed this morning. Okay. Let's go, Hatchy. All right, big guy, come on. Talk to him a little bit, be encouraging. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, good. We're gonna do our little warm up. I almost forgot. We wanna incorporate something here from last session. Ah, ah, good. Just a verbal. You kinda run out of hands. You need them to start understanding what that verbal means. And as jumpy as he was on that, he sees the drone. It didn't come out of the sky though, did it? Ready? Okay, let's go. I would expect we're gonna see a little bit of jump here on this first bird. Oh, he says right there. Now, this is an important thing that I wanna point out here, guys. Um, this dog I've haunted with, he's pointed a lot of birds. He's got a fantastic nose. He's got the ability to track running birds. He does all the things. Today, it's hot, it's dry. Sending conditions are different. Where this specific bird is, is maybe different. And it took him getting fairly close to it to figure out where it was at. Now the next one, he may hit at a pretty good distance. Some of them are gonna be different. So don't be harping on your dog because it takes them, they gotta get closer to one bird or whatever else, you know. Everything happens. And even on top of all of those things that I just mentioned, sometimes dogs have bad days. You know, it's just, is what it is. So we're gonna introduce one here. Whoa. All right, so now we've got him thinking, stand that flush, stand that flush. I've got my collar ready, I've got my launcher ready. I'm gonna put myself relatively close so that he knows we're here and what's going on, and this bird's gonna come out. Ah, ah, ah. I tap, tap, it took two taps on the collar, get him stopped, now we're gonna introduce gunfire. Uh, uh, uh. 
Again, these are these Kent field trial blanks. They allow us to incorporate a shotgun into this training. The more realistic we can get to, the faster we can get there, the better off we'll be. Good. Good, good. I'm gonna go ahead, whoa. I'm gonna go ahead and reload this because I know Jess has got another set afterward. One thing that we're gonna have to teach from a testing standpoint is uh, avoiding delayed chase. Now, delayed chase is gonna be a scenario where a bird goes down over here and it was either a safety or a missed bird, something to the effect that the dog can't go there. And he's gonna have to learn how to go, I know there's a bird 30 or 40 yards over there, but we're gonna heal away and we're gonna go up this way to hunt. We have to leave that one alone. It's part of the testing system, most of them. Um, so we do a majority of our birds for steady dogs. We set them in front of them, heal them away and send them on so that they know there's a bird right there and they're learning right off the bat that they've gotta be able to handle what we're asking and not just do what they want. Uh, 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 heal. He, ah, son, this way, heal, good. We're gonna give him a little shot of water. Water on their ears and head again. A little bit in their mouth, but a wise old bird dog trainer told me, it's always better on them than in them. Think about that one for a minute. Heal. Whoa. Okay. All righty. We are on to bird numero two. You can see he's opening up a little bit more. Still not back to hunting like Hatch, but he is starting to get more comfortable with what's going on out here. Now the next one should be up over here somewhere. Got an idea. Hey, 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 let's go. Goodbye, drone. I need to get you a drone pocket since you don't have anything else to do over there. You can. <clears throat> All right, hunt them up, Hatch. I got a feeling Ooh. that this clump up here is gonna be where the bird launcher's at. Come on. You can see he turned up wind. He's getting a, getting some scent stream going on here. Now, um, my guess is we're somewhere, you know, up ahead here in the vicinity of 20 to 40 yards from him, maybe a solid 20, 25 yards, um, which shows the total difference here. We reintroduced a pigeon. He's, oh yeah, 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 I remember what those smell like. And we have a different situation here for him. So, are you sure you have it or are you just being cautious? He's looking around just a little bit. Whoa. Okay, easy, sir. He's pretty sure he's got something. He's being just a little bit creepy, but he's a long way off of that. We're gonna go ahead and have him stand here. You may wanna just swing back behind us so you can see everything a little easier. Got my shotgun ready. We're gonna do one shot here. This is gonna help desensitize the shot aspect of things. He's looking around, where'd that bird go down? Well, no bird went down, but I'm glad you're looking. That's a very, very, very clear indication that he's hunted enough. He understands this game and what's going on. Good. All right, I've got our bird right here. We're gonna, again, I've got myself up here so I can kind of uh, see what's going on. This is gonna be my typical flushing position out in front of him. And you can see that he's a good distance off that bird. So like I say, don't be hard on yourself or your dog if they point one closer um, and then one further away. All right, here comes bird number two. 
we're gonna see, I've got my, my finger on the button here for his belly collar only. Ah, 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 ah. Good. Now, let's break that one down. Bird flew at him, flew around him, and we talked about this in one of the previous videos. Um, he had to move to be able to mark that bird because it went all the way around him. And when he was started that motion, he swung all the way around, watched it, and he stood in place. Now, from a true steadiness standpoint, I mean, that's steady. He didn't go anywhere. He's uh, an intelligent bird dog, and he wanted to be able to see what's going on. Um, as he gets farther along in this process, we'll probably ask, uh, we'll stop some more of that foot movement. What I'm trying to see is what is he going to do, what is he not going to do. As soon as that gunfire went off, though, he was ready to go. And that, I believe, is a big part of all of that additional movement in that circle, like we talked about objects in motion. He tries to stay in motion. So what we're going to um, hopefully do is get a bird that'll fly away from him so we can put one together on this last bird that is a little more polished. But the key to this, hey, stop eating grass. No, just stand still. There's a lot in the testing system of, you know, more of a... My wife always described when she did some military-based stuff that there's some hurry up and wait. So those of you that know what she's talking about, throw it in the comments below. There's hurry up and wait going on. And in the testing system, we've got some of that hurry up and wait scenario as well, where we may have to stand for another dog to come in and honor. We may have to wait on the judges to be able to ride up to get close enough for us to work the bird or whatever. So the more that he can learn in these early stages that there are time periods where he's gonna have to stand there and wait the better off we're gonna be. Now, you can see he's almost dry again, which means that it's warm and we need to keep wetting him down. And we're gonna move on to that next bird. Whoa. Like we did on the last one, I'm gonna go ahead and set this bird in front of him and then we're gonna move away from it. He knows it's here. You can see him tense up a little bit, trying to get staunch as if he's pointing it. Good. I think he's things are jingle jangling on my neck and messing with my microphone. All right, let's go ahead and heal. Good, we'll wet those ears and head down again. There you go, shoot across. When we're watering dogs, we always shoot across their mouth, not down their throat. Good, heal. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. Good, okay. Let's go, Hatchkey. Hold him up. Next thing I want to touch on as you guys are watching here is just that what he's displaying is that he's handleable. Handleability is the key to be able to continue to progress. If he was blowing through, chasing, running around like a wild man and it was virtually impossible to get him stopped, that would say he isn't ready for this, but he's not. He's making a few mistakes. Perfection is not where we're at at this point, but he is handleable. Let's go. Come on, come on. I believe our next one is down this direction. I've got an echo located up there. A very cool feature with uh, DT's launchers. They've got that beeper on them so you can find where they're at. We're going to induce a random stop here. Or have you got the bird already? I believe he says, I've got the bird already. Maybe. Do you have it or do you not have it? I'm gonna go with, he's got a, he got a whiff of it, but he doesn't have it. Let's go, come on. Now he's got it, wind's swirling a little bit. We're getting some breezes that are coming kind of back out of the out of the southwest here. We're getting some that are swinging more straight south. 
And that's what he'd gotten back here. He got a, a little whiff. He checked it out, but he's intelligent. He moved up here closer to where uh, he's got a solid, solid scent stream now. These are all markers of a dog that's hunted. You know, really, uh, truly understands he uses, how to use his nose and what's going on here. And AKA, we'll call you Cannon Nose now. Goodness gracious. Now, if we look at the wind, the way the grass is moving, it is blowing straight through here, which is, we're upwards of almost 40 yards off of this bird here. Now, for all of you guys that say, as I know it's gonna come out there, that's not even beneficial to have a dog that's pointing this far off a bird. How are you supposed to find them? Well, this is a dog that's gonna be cautious enough to get you close to those wild birds, as well as a dog with this kind of nose that can prove his ability at this distance is gonna be the dog finding birds when those sunny conditions are really tough. It's right up here somewhere. Uh-huh. All right, you guys ready? Here comes the bird. Hatch, whoa. Whoa, Hatch. Whoa. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. Okay, let's go. If you wanna be closer to it, then be closer to it for now. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, come on. Step number 65. Know where your bird launchers are at. Okay, it's all in line with where he was at. Let's go. Just forever away. Okay, hunt him up. All right, you got it now. Stand still. Got my collar ready on his belly. We're on the same, we're a little higher out here in the field. We're at like a five, six is what it's taken to stop him. It's, that's the swirling scent. We had southwest cutting straight across all the way to back where he was. And now we're straight south, which is why he lost that. Kind of lost confidence in his position, was able to move up. Now it wasn't 100% what I wanted him to do, but it's part of dog training. It's part of dog training. Good. Good, no movement there. That was really good. He's looking around for that echo. Now, he took those couple steps there. He went hop, 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 moving to mark that bird, even though a true movement wasn't necessary. One tap on the collar got him stopped. I fired my shots and there was no movement. Ah, 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 ah. These are all part of this learning stage, right? Guys, he's not finished yet. We're on step four of steady to wing shot and fall training. This is his fourth full session. So we're seeing really good things though, heel all of which are the fact that he is handleable, he understands this game, and we can keep him moving in the right direction. Thanks guys for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun, borrowing a non-pink gun today. This is Hatch, and we will be back shortly as we continue to rep him through this. Mm -hmm.